everybody. Good morning to meteorologist Travis Klineski here on this Thursday morning. A uh, warm front down to our south, a weak cold front making its way through the area this morning. It's not really going to bring a lot of cold air to the area, maybe a little cooler to the north, but overall lots of sunshine today. Maybe a few fair weather clouds popping up as a warm front begins to lift northward into northern Kansas. That front's going to stall out tonight. Could be responsible though for a few hit or miss showers and thunderstorms this evening and overnight tonight from eastern Colorado all the way to the east along the Nebraska-Kansas border, so southern Nebraska, northern Kansas. Chances will be a little bit greater in these areas here to the east and southeast compared to farther west where it may be a little more isolated. Northern Nebraska, you're probably not going to see much. That front remains stalled out later tonight. Again, maybe some isolated activity here and there. Once we get later into the night, into the night after 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, the chances start to fade away. And outside of a few leftover clouds tomorrow morning, we're going to start to see plenty of sunshine and the heat's going to start to build in even more. That front to our south, that stalled out stationary boundary, begins to lift north slowly as a warm front. So it takes us from very, very warm conditions. Well, let's back this up real quick. Very, very warm conditions to the south or north of that boundary to hot conditions south and west. And the wind, winds will begin to pick up as well, especially out west tomorrow. So quite breezy tomorrow. Those winds strengthening and the heat continuing to build northward as we head into the upcoming weekend ahead of us here. Here's that severe weather risk for uh, this evening and overnight tonight. The Storm Prediction Center has southern Nebraska and northern Kansas under at least a marginal risk, but the higher chances uh, will be in that yellow shaded area where there is a slight risk of severe thunderstorms. What are our threats? Well, it looks like mainly, mainly wind and hail. Hail one to two inches in diameter, some 60 plus mile per hour wind gusts a possibility. Very, very small chance of an isolated tornado. It's not a very good chance, but can't completely say a 0% chance with that. Well, highs for today, very warm, not super hot yet, but very warm. Mid to upper 80s up north, lower to mid 90s farther to the uh, south. We'll go with lower 90s in the Tri-Cities. Lows tonight, mostly in the 60s, a few spots around 70 in the southeast, maybe some upper 50s up north. And then tomorrow, a, an excessive heat watch will go into place at 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. This is going to continue all the way through the weekend until Monday night at 7 o'clock. Now, of course, not the entire 24-hour time frame of each day is going to mean we're looking at excessive heat, but during the peak heating of the afternoon and early evening hours, uh, heat index values could get as high as 105 during that time frame. Eventually, this will probably change over to a heat advisory uh, for more of those areas once it converts from a watch to an advisory. But again, we'll be looking at a heat advisory probably during that Friday through Monday time frame for many. Well, temperatures on Friday for highs mostly in the 90s but again to the south and west more of that heat starts to build in so some triple digits will be possible there tomorrow night low to mid 70s for overnight lows and then jumping ahead to saturday upper 90s and lower 100 so we're talking some heat really starting to build in on saturday looking at the long range forecast We'll see that again near 100 in the Tri-Cities on Saturday. If not there, certainly on Sunday and Monday, there's a chance of some triple digits. The winds are going to be strong through the weekend. So basically, if you remember back to what, what it was like back on Monday earlier this week, we could see a repeat of that Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Potential record territory on Sunday and Monday. Then a cold front begins to approach from the northwest. So that's going to bring those temperatures down a little bit on Tuesday and Wednesday. Still very, very warm, but just not as hot. And... Rain and thunderstorm chances will return to the forecast beginning Monday evening and Monday night. Continuing through Tuesday and Wednesday, mostly at night. The evening and nighttime chances will be the better chances there. Uh, the cool down doesn't look to last terribly long, though. So we'll be right back into the mid and maybe even upper 90s uh, next Thursday, Friday, and Saturday here. So it still looks like the very warm to toasty conditions are going to be sticking around, just maybe not as much of the triple-digit heat down the road. Let's look at the, some of the long-range models real quick. This is the European model. Again, there's tonight's chance of storms there this evening. And then we're pretty much dry through the weekend. The chances, small chance uh, there Friday evening up north, not a very good chance. Most of the chances are going to be to our north this weekend. And then Monday, right there, there's the chance Monday evening, Monday night. And then again, Tuesday evening, Tuesday night. And then again, Wednesday evening and Wednesday night before Thursday, maybe a dry forecast there. Here's the GFS forecast model. Here comes tonight's chances. That's uh, right there. Um, it's not showing precipitation though here. This may be a model issue 
because it's not showing precipitation. It's just showing the clouds here. So I apologize for that. Yeah, I tell you what I'm going to do is I'm going to back out of that graphic and go back into it. It may just not be showing the. I think it's just struggling to show the precipitation, unfortunately, here. But uh, it does show at least the clouds, and they'll give you hints at where precipitation could be. And like I said, Monday uh, evening into Monday night right there, we could see some thunderstorms. And then again, Tuesday evening into Tuesday night right there, I think we have a better chance of thunderstorms. Maybe again Wednesday, if that doesn't go to our south, then maybe again Thursday as well here as things turn a little bit more active down the road. But again, you can see it here. Here's the long train range temperature trends again we'll start this off with today's map here and again the heat beginning to build in today friday heat builds in a little bit more oh my graphics are really struggling this morning really seeing that heat build into the middle part of the country this weekend into monday then that slight cool down tuesday and wednesday but then the heat's still really kind of sticking around wednesday thursday friday of next week here so it's not completely gone yet Maybe a bigger cool down comes in the end of next week there. You see it there. A little more of a cool down could be on the way down the road just a bit. But that we're talking 10 days from now, 10, 9, 10 days from now. So it's a ways out. We'll see here. But maybe we'll cool it back for that. I think that's the final weekend of June there. So it's a long ways away yet. We've got a long ways to go. We've got plenty of the heat to deal with first. But uh, there you go. There's your forecast for today. I will be gone tomorrow. I will be back on Monday. So David will be filling in for me for tomorrow morning. Otherwise, uh, join him for tomorrow morning and join John Walsh uh, in the evening show as well. I'll be back with you with all the latest on Monday morning. Thank you for watching, and uh, we'll talk to you all later. Enjoy your weekend. Stay cool out there. Take care. God bless. Bye.